Cyber Ninja Online guys, welcome back to uh, Two Worlds. This is chapter 9, and when we last left off, um, we explored all this uh, little, I guess you'd call it a little dungeon. Zoom in here. This is where we came in. We came in this way, fought some uh, skeletons back around this way. Uh, there was a guy locked up in, I think right here, and we freed him. So we did that, and that was pretty much it. I mean, there was more to it, obviously, the whole getting here part, but yeah. Um, after we ended, I think I sold some stuff. It's been a, a little bit since I played, but I'm pretty sure I sold some stuff. I would have finished looting here if I hadn't already, but I think I just left, sold some stuff, and then I do remember one thing I did. I came back down to uh, this encampment right here, and there's a building... Kind of looks off. I guess it'd be this building right here, yeah. Um, I looted that building. That's the only lootable building in this uh, outpost, I guess you could say. So I went in there, uh, stole some stuff from there, and now we're about to progress. So without further ado, let's uh, get going. There's the uh, guy we let set free. I think I picked up something new too, but I'm not sure, so I'm just going to show you all my gears. My gears, all my gear. I think I got new gloves, but I'm honestly, I can't remember. And I haven't got any word uh, if I should use that two-handed uh, weapon or not, so I'm just going to stick with the one-handed weapon for now. I do have it in a uh, chest somewhere. Along with something else, I think. Do I have something else there? Actually, let's go and see. Because for some reason, I think I have something else in that chest. I dropped my stuff off in here. So that's what I did. I uh, dropped this stuff off in a chest. I sold whatever I had on me. And uh, I looted. That's what I did off screen. Sounds like it's raining outside. Yeah, that's what I did. So this thing, um, I haven't got any uh, any comments saying if I should or shouldn't use it. Because like I said, I'm partial to my Grom shield. And then everything else that I'm waiting on, I have in here. Basically, I have to be level 13 for everything. Strength 25 and dexterity 30 for that one. Get 5 points, so I'll get the strength one. But the dexterity, I won't be able to use that dagger until like... The, the level after that, but that's fine. But yeah, so that was basically everything, like I said. Um, I can't remember if I did pick up new gear or not, or if I ended up uh, switching it, what the dealio was with that. However, I do know what awaits me as I come out here. Ah, that's interesting. A good old friend of the skeletons. For some reason, I was missing like every hit on that one skeleton. I can hear them like overdraw their bow too. Thinking they're good archers. Say hello to death. I won't worry about that last skeleton until after I kill this guy. And I got disarmed. My uh, shield got knocked off. I should be able to. Kill this er, skeleton with my bow and arrow. Did I hit him? I don't think I hit him. No, I just think I did no damage to him. Yeah. Never mind. I figured as much, but I thought I'd try it out. I don't think so. But yeah, so basically skeletons you can only really kill with uh, blunt weapons. You can use bladed weapons, but... They have such a reduction to the damage that they'll take from it that it's really not even worth your time. And then as we just found out there, uh, bows do crap all. So, the more you know, I guess. None of that is what I want. Still power looting. Um, we only have 14,000 gold. I mean, we could have so much more. For now, that's what we have. What is that? Summon Steel Golem. A lot of the magic in this game is pretty cool. 
uh, specifically the summon spells. You can summon a lot of cool monsters to aid you in your battles. Fortunately, you're not really going to see anything like that this playthrough. Just because I'm uh, doing kind of a ranger build, so... It's like that skeleton knocked the friggin' wind out of me. Yeah, I thought I heard more skeletons. Surprise! Pretty sure that axe skeleton was trying to pull my shield, just like the other one did not minutes ago. And we leveled up, look at that. Gonna put the other points straight into dexterity because I want to get that, uh... I want to get the, um, that dagger as soon as possible. So what I'm gonna do now is loot these guys and then I'm gonna go grab that loot that I left in the chest there. You guys can come along for it because it won't take forever. Should be fairly quick, so... I'm trying to make sure I don't pick up anything, uh... Or I don't not, like, do... How do I phrase it? I'm trying to make sure that I condense down what I can. There we go. Before we come directly back, I'm going to stop and sell this crap I have on me, too. Because I might as well. I don't even know if I have enough room for uh, what I want to do anyways. I'm gonna put that on. I wanna put this on. Okay, this one is definitely not as good anymore, but I'm at my limit. So I'll have to come back for that later. I mean, I'm just gonna leave it in the chest for now and then I'll come back and sell it in the near future. Let's go stop over at this teleport so I can sell this stuff. Visit. Our two friends here. Mm. Just want to make sure I sell everything that I mean to sell. 47. Surprisingly have a better shield than uh, the Grom shield. Because I, like I said, the Grom shield is usually what you'll end up having for this portion of the game. Just because... Um, You'll get so many of the shields that you can start stacking them to a uh, high level and then they'll be super good. But doesn't look like you have any cards I want. Um, I'm good on health potions and stuff. I actually don't need that. I think that's it. I didn't drop it this time. I sold it. Let's go back to this town here. Pick up our teleport stone and be on our way. What's that? Might be skeletons over this way. I don't see any though. Our friend that was standing guard here has disappeared. Some skeletons my left. I don't think there's anything this way, but I want to check just to make sure. Because if there is, I want to fight him. Of course, there is not. Look at us. Is that a full set? I wonder. Uh, 325, 325, 325, 322. Damn. So I'm not wearing the proper boots and gloves, but I mean, I look pretty much in a full set. It's kind of what it looks like. It's not rare. Like, I have worn full sets of armor before. I just thought it was kind of cool. Because, like, obviously I hadn't really planned on... I hadn't really planned on wearing a full set... Of armor, it just kind of happened, Take if anything, that. so. My strength upgrade. Definitely helps out. And I got two really good melee weapons, too, so I can't at all be disappointed. So let's head back down and give that one guy the bad news. Because uh, we had originally come up here to find this guy's brother. And uh, we found out that the brother was dead. He was in the cell with that other guy. There's that, of course. And then we're looking for the commander of the outpost. He was uh, apparently heading back to... Uh, what do you call it? We'll, we'll talk to this guy first. I'll let you know. And? How, how fast my brother? I regret to tell you that your brother is dead. 
What? Tell me you jest, stranger. I, I prithee. Nay, tis no jest. Most of the men up there are dead, killed by a necromancer's experiment. I worried when I heard strange noises from the outpost, but I thought to myself, uh, what of it, Eskel? The strange sounds have come from there before. So they experimented again, and killed my brother this time. Please, leave me. I will grieve alone. Well, we got reputation and experience. That's a thing. Anyways, he uh, went back to that lodge. Um, I think it's like called the Resty Ogre's Lodge that I passed on the way here. So, by the way, this is the building I'm telling you about, or I told you about. I came in here. I looted all these things, these cabinets and stuff. There wasn't really much in there. But yeah. We are, um... Currently heading back to here, the Resty Ogre Lodge, so I was right. And then I want to make my way... Uh, a little bit south. I want to come down here to try to get to Broomhill. I think I'm okay to uh, do it because I have my bow. Worst case scenario, so I'll just uh, I'll aggro them with my bow and just kind of hit and run them. But uh, I should be fine. But like I said, you do have to be careful because these snow glacier orcs. I believe that's what they are, glacier orcs. Um, they're pretty damn tough, especially on early levels, and you get that quest super early, so you. I mean, like, if you're looking for trying to get easy XP, you'd take that quest and be like, okay, I'm just going to do this quest, and then, yeah, I definitely wouldn't do that. It's definitely not an early, uh, level quest. I mean, we're still fairly early in levels and whatnot, but you know what I mean. This guy right here. What do you want? Methinks you are the outpost commander. Nay, he is not here. Be off with you. I am certain that you are the commander, and I must tell you many seek you, and methinks you would lose your head if they caught you. Tarnation! That fool of a smuggler Tider Shog sent you, did he not? How much did he offer you? A thousand gold pieces? I will pay you two thousand. Half now, and half later when you have killed him. Tis agreed, then. I'll make sure that the smuggler no longer troubles you. Music to my ears. Here is half of your fee. Let me know when Tider is no longer in the land of the living. What happened at the outpost? Mayhap you should keep that to yourself. It concerns no one. Because that's totally what its I subtitles heard that say. Romancer performed an experiment. Paladins? Aye, I thought they would come. They can do whatever business they please. Again, they will too. subtitles are pretty accurate you think here. They want to help, but they only follow their own secret plans. I believe I saw paladins in the outpost. What business do they have here, pray? Paladins? Aye, I thought they would come. They can do whatever business they please, and they will too. You think they want to help, but they only follow their own secret plans. Farewell then. So let's just talk to him again and then uh we'll get the other thousand. Have you eliminated our mutual friend? Yes, Tadar Shog has had a fatal accident. He will bother you no longer. Mayhap you should think faster or return my money. Farewell then. Done talking to him. Uh so yeah. I think we're done over here. And the entire limb hitting the wrong button again. So yeah, I'm gonna start heading uh southeast, like I said. See uh See my journeys over that way. I'll probably be able to make it to uh Broom Hill and clear it out in this session of recording. I have to admit, this isn't moving as slowly as I thought it would. I mean, it's moving pretty slow, but could be a lot slower. Pretty happy with the pace it's going at. 
Can't lie. Dodo bird. That's what those are, by the way, are dodo birds. If you kill them, you get dodo figure bleh, figures. <laughs> dodo feathers. That's what you get. Maliel shrine. I'm surprised we haven't seen anything on these roads here. My bow needs to be used. It hasn't been used yet, this recording. I mean, it has, but it really didn't do any damage. It missed, if anything. We can just say it like that. I'm not even going to take the chance to try to talk to these bandits. Pretty sure I would have hit him. Pathetic. Well, I took out the archer, at least. R. Nope. T. Great. Well, at least I know that I can tank a bear. Because he only did like half damage to me. I didn't even get my uh, full use of that spell. You can interrupt the spell when you use it, and it won't uh, actually use up any mana or heal you any. So there's that. I think I can dodge the bear and have it help me either catch and or kill these archers. Which is fine by me. Didn't mean to hit you. Yeah, I, I take... I can take a good couple hits. Fear you no longer, grizzly bear. I think it was black bears. Probably do a little bit more damage, but... Regardless. And I leveled up again, holy shit. Flying through levels. Let's get dexterity to 30 so I can get the, uh... That dagger. Like, so I can use that dagger. Get starting drill. Or starting drill. Starting draw, how about that? Put that away. Ah, oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna loot some, and then, uh... We'll go back to that chest. Because so I can be able to uh, pull out the uh, that quiver. I think the quiver was... No, sorry, dagger. That's what it was, dagger. It's getting all mixed up here. That can combine. That can combine. That can combine. Let's go. I'm still gonna leave that uh, club in here for now. And uh, if we decide to use it, then we can always come back for it. Let's have a look. I'm gonna go sell the stuff and then uh, back to looting the rest of those bandits. But yeah, basically, so um, with this dagger, now what can happen is um, when I enter sneak mode, if I get the skill death strike, I can sneak up on an enemy and basically kill it. And the death strike does 100% uh, damage. So like as you can see here, hero can strike his enemy from behind. Death strike is really powerful, often eliminating your enemy 100%. And that's only at like level 0. As you progress, it does like 110. I think that's how it works. It might be 100 or 200. Only works in sneak mode and can be executed only with a knife or dagger. And I think at a certain level it either ignores armor. I think. Don't quote me on that. It's either at a certain level it ignores armor or when you get it high enough. I mean that's the same thing. But There's something to do with armor. I remember that. Alright, alright. So much for the whole full set thing. I mean, I had a full set for maybe five minutes or so. That's what happens in this game. You always find better armor. 
As much as I would like to look Let's see. stylish, I guess, for lack of a better words, I also like to have the best gear. So. That was a good machete, but I mean, I have a better sword. Go ahead and take all that. I killed an archer back here, too. Pretty sure it was one shot, but I could be mistaken. Should have a chest here. I can loot as well. That's a graveyard down there, and those shoots right there are called uh, taint shoots. Now there's a quest for that later, and uh, we'll get to that. Ooh. Yeah, but see, this is one of those things I was telling you guys about. So with uh, heavier armors, they have certain restrictions. So with this, um, you can't use a bow. So basically, I wouldn't be able to use my bow if I use this. Can't use two weapons, and I can't swim with the armor. If I jump in water while wearing this armor, it just unequips it, by the way. You don't, like, drown. But the whole can't use a bow thing, it's not a... It's a no-go for me, basically. That's the premise of our character. We're, like I said, we're a ranger, so... So if I can't use a bow, that's going to be pretty crappy. Pretty crappy indeed. Go ahead and sell what I don't need. Go back through everything once more. See, if they had pages, like if you had a equipment page that would make like the whole um, going through your inventory process a lot easier. But it's all just on one page, which I don't mind. I mean, it has benefits being all on one page, but usually if it has a page system, it also has like an all, like all items page, so in any case, beyond the point. My inventory management isn't really that hard to do. Now I can go off this little beaten path and enter into the, uh, the graveyard, but I think I'll get it on the way back if anything. is a wolf that just ran away wasn't sure what was going on with these wolves I can't believe I leveled up that fast though that was insane Go ahead and pull my bow back out. More bandits up ahead. Any of them with ranged weapons? I think this one right here has a bow. He definitely has a bow. So does his friend though, unfortunately. Three archers. Now archers are a pain in the ass because they have this thing called uh, disarming strike. I think it's disarming strike. It's disarming arrow, maybe. But in any case, and one of them pulled my shield. In any case, um, it's pretty self-explanatory. They shoot and it disarms you. This guy is the one who pulled my shield. You get out of here with that. There we go. Oh shit, that's why I'm healing. Eating these uh things I found. Next, we're gonna come up here. Pull my bow. I'll try to outrange him. Never know. I think I missed the uh, bandit right there. I did. I love how I have an arrow through me. <laughs> I thought I killed that guy. Definitely killed him that time. Killed him. I 
Thank you. Aha. See if you had anything on them. He had nothing. Really didn't have much either. Let's go ahead and sell some of this stuff. I don't think there's anyone I can sell to at the rest of the ogre. No, there really isn't. Like I said, you'll be seeing a lot of this in early game. Until, uh... Until I get to, uh, different, like, areas. Once I get out of this, like, eastern... Southeastern area. Then, um... You'll be seeing different areas. I think that was it. Doesn't have anything I want. I'm keeping an eye out for more, uh... The health cards. And, um... The booster cards as well. I'm not even going to bother to pick it up. Pretty sure I looked at those before, but... Ha. Huh. Got to make sure I don't lose track of these four guys. It'll happen. Thought I noticed that. Usually when I'm comparing items, I'm looking either to my right, like this side right here, or I'm looking right in the middle just at the values. I don't really pay attention to uh, what I have in my inventory too, too much. I try to, but... Take that teleport. Take her back. So now we have a class 2 bamboo, ba bamboo bow. There we go. And I'm liking the way that's going to be. Because bam this bamboo bow is pretty damn good. And there's another one right here. I don't know if I want to get it though. Because it has an enchantment on it. For cold damage. I don't know. Might just leave it. Back this way. I would be playing more Craft the World right now, but I just want to give it a little bit. Give it a day or so. Well, I mean, a couple days, obviously, but just to see if I get any more oh, input on the uh, the whole stair scenario. So if you haven't seen, I did uh, two different varieties of what the stairs could look like. I just want to see what the uh, people think. They like it one way or another. All the same old crap. Ah, so they plundered this camp, and I interrupted them. Let's see. Nothing. Go figure. Nothing in the chest. We're getting closer to Broomhill, though. That's what you get. That was a one shot. I'm not sure if that was cut. Is it was a critical? It must have been a critical. 